Yo, what's going on everyone? The big guy Ryback here with feeding time. I'm really upset. I was just doing my open and uh, my phone rang and just shut off everything. I need to put the do not disturb on so that doesn't happen. But I just recorded again and I didn't do it. So there's a good chance that person's going to call back because they're stupid. This person calls me all the time. And, and I, I don't even, they just, they, they call, they don't text, they call. And I'm just like, just fucking text me. So I could not respond. When you call, I gotta hit the damn ignore. Don't wanna talk to you, okay? I'm not being mean, I just am not interested. Probably that was a little much. They're a really good person though. They're just not my type. All right, guys, I got a food tray here. I invested in a couple of these for the vehicles so I don't have to have the man-child real food tray in here. It doesn't quite hook into the steering wheel because of the steering wheel cover. It may, it's just too thick. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> and uh, But I can I rest it with my legs here. And uh, today, guys, we are doing... And now, now they're texting. Now they're texting. This is completely ass backwards. You text first. When I ignore the text, then you call. Another text. They're the kind of person that can't send one text. They send like three, four, five, all different thoughts. Just put it all in one fucking text. Sorry, guys. I'm really my... Just did a huge workout, did a bunch of conditioning, and I just want to eat this raising canes. Look at that. Look at those chicken fingers and the cane sauce. The light makes it pretty bright. Smell it. Okay. Um... And uh, I got a 24-hour fast coming up here. If that person calls me after the call, then two texts, and then they go back to the call, oh, I'm stopping this, and I'm going to drive over to their house and shell shock them in the street. <sighs> I'm just having fun, guys. Somebody's really like, Ryback's so upset. I just have fun on here, guys. As I'm running around, I got to go do inventory for Feed Me More Nutrition. We've uh, Thank you guys for Black Friday. We had our two biggest days in the history of uh, Feed Me More Nutrition on FeedMeMore.com. Broke another monthly record of sales. I believe this is six or seven months in a row. I think it's seven months in a row. And um, it's a really good problem to have. It's I got like my reorders are like happening quicker and quicker. And I got to start ordering more and more quantities. And... It's like, it's just, it's a lot and it's a good thing, but it takes up it's morning to night and, um, and we're dealing with everything else and doing the podcast and scheduling people. Like I, I've learned, I do everything on my own. I've, I've, and I have some help with the, the team around me and, uh, they've been, uh, amazing and, and so blessed to have good people around me. Um, but as far as like physically getting stuff done, I have to do it. You can't trust this stuff with anyone. I found they won't do it and they won't do it right. And, um, so until I get it exactly where I want it. And then I could bring on the people to kind of help me get away from the manual labor side of things. So, but that's what you do. And you got to get in the trenches and you make it work. And uh, we've got my health back and uh, I'm really excited guys. Today though, raising canes, we're diving right in. I'm going in. Oh shit. Okay, I thought I got cane sauce everywhere. I just got it a little bit. I got a 24 hour fast coming up though. I'm going to see how this chicken fingers are. And, uh, mm, oh, it's hot. Mmm. Mm. Tender, juicy. Wow. Mmm. That raisin canes, I pretend they're the Glenn Jacobs parents, they own that chain. They make good chicken. Mm. I only got a six piece, guys. Mm. Oh, I didn't get any garlic bread. Son of a bitch. Oh, I didn't get the combo because I got my finish at BCAAs with water. It's all watered down now. Damn. I really wanted that. No, that lady give you a little piece of garlic toast. It's delicious. It's the equivalent of Firehouse Subs giving you that pickle, but it's not a pickle. Mmm. This is a good raisin canes. 
drive through we had a long line, but it went really quick. And these were served piping hot. Very important. The reason why I'm doing six today, guys, I'm not going crazy. This is my cheat meal, but I, so I did a cheat meal last night after boozing with the big guy. I also had a date last night. I'm also debating making a, a new segment called Date Night. I actually had the intro made already. Drop me a comment below if you're interested in seeing my adventures of dating um, with people and then just like random, be a random thing, whatever. I'll come up with a situation where it's recorded, but it's just, it's the real, it's the real part of the date. I think that'd be pretty funny. I said, I'm, my life is just turning into the, that Jim Carrey movie where his whole life is recorded. I'm pretty much just doing that now. Why not? <clears throat> Everything I do is directly tied into being who I am. And it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It actually allows me to like have a lot more fun. This isn't stuff, it makes this stuff more enjoyable for me. Because I mean, let's be honest, if I had to come over here in this parking lot after my workout, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have my cheat meal, I'm gonna get my canes, I would've just gone back home and eat it, eating it, and it wouldn't have been as like, you know, sort of felt like a loser. Now I'm in my car doing it and recording it in the parking lot all alone. Still a loser, but like, it's fun, it's a lot of fun. Not a loser, guys. I've eaten alone my whole life. I love it. I'm always thinking. I've also eaten out with a lot of people, too. That's fun, too. This raisin cane sauce is delicious. we got a group of four young men, thugs. I could tell they're thugs. Hoodies. It is cold, but hoodies, we're judging right now. Bike, definitely stolen. Multiple races, just so somebody out there is not thinking I'm being fucking racist. They were all pretty much white. They look like thugs. They must have saw me recording, they went the other way. <laughs> mm. Shout out to all of you guys that suggested these food trays on Amazon. Game changer. Total game changer. You guys, I'm going to show this. Somebody should post the link again in the comments so everyone can go get these so we can all eat in our cars all the time. This is, makes it so much easier. Uh, but I was telling you guys, I did a cheat. So I did boozing with the big guy last night. That's dropping. It already dropped. I'm recording this and it's getting ready to drop. Um... Usually when I do those, my, my one drinking night a week, I'll do like a bottle of red wine or I'll do anywhere from like four, five, six beers. I'll usually get a six pack and uh, polish off a six pack and that does no damage to me. But last night I bought an 18 pack of cans and uh, and then I had date night following when I got to working and uh, the six turned into um, 15 and it was totally fine. But I then um, debated I was gonna record a uh, my cheat thing that night and then go right into my fast and I just said you know what I just want to have some junk food and not be seen I just want to eat this private like I feel like a fat piece of shit all by myself before I pass out so I got some Taco Bell just got a few things and uh, that was my final meal uh, I thought that was my dad walking towards me right now that would have been so funny he lives just right down the road from here <laughs> uh, that's my son just eating in his vehicle Mm. I'm wearing my Feed Me More Nutrition hoodie. We got these on feedmemore.com. We do have some some left. Everything else, guys, all the shirts and everything is all on Teespring. You can get We got all kinds of that's what she said. I need more information. We got a lot of different uh, Ryback, Feed Me More type stuff, shirts, designs. Teespring.com. Mm. Oh, I feel the power regenerating in my body guys I can't explain it I was working out at my home gym yesterday and I just started screaming at the top of my lungs because my the muscles were firing in part of my shoulder and lat 
that have been dead for the past few years. And like my back's all better now. Everything is coming back and I feel like I've been given the gift of power once again and it's coming back rapidly. I, like, I want to start fucking people up again. Like it's a really good feeling. But you know, now with the meditation and you know, all this stuff, I'm like the, I'm like the Hulk in the new Avengers movie. I'm much more sophisticated and you know, I just don't go right back smash, right back rules. That's what I would do on the turnbuckles by the by the all the way guys uh, by all the way. Blah, 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 In matches, I'd hop up after the match, and this would just expend more energy because I always was flexing. I get up on the turnbuckles, and if you ever seen the live events, you might be wondering, like, what the fuck is he saying? I would get up on the turnbuckle, I'd go, Ryback smash, Ryback rules, feed me more, done. And then, like, a little bow, usually, to the crowd. Or I'd wait and get back in the ring and bow to each side. Just a little routine I got into, just to let people know that I fucking rule. I didn't do that after I lost, so I just, uh, uh, and, like, walk to the back, and then be totally fine. And I would go, Ryback rules in the back. <sighs> this is so fucking good. Mm. This chicken is so juicy. Oh, I got, I think I got fries too. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I forgot I got fries. I gotta hurry and eat those before they get cold. Strong. I need more information, guys. I lied. I got a chicken sandwich, too. I'm a fat piece of shit. Smell it. Oh, it has the cane sauce on it. Yes. <laughs> uh, and it's three chicken fingers on a... Oh, I'm going to have to see how this tastes compared to the, uh, get this over here. Oh, this is going to be delicious. Mmm. Mmm. No messy. Fuck. Oh, this is, this would taste so good drunk. Just the right blend of seasoning. Oh, man. Mm. Thank you guys for sharing this channel and for it's growing rapidly. It's uh, it's exciting times ahead. Oh, the lettuce is so good. Oh, I really would like to taste this against Popeyes. Oh. Wow. Mm. Oh.
crinkle cut fries. Grab one, guys. Hey, fucking one, asshole. Going fucking three or four, you pig. I said one. Shit. I try to share. That's just take it all. I won't have any. All right. Feed you more. Prick. Mm. These are good. Oh yeah. I do want to say, guys, and I and I, I put out a tweet earlier, and uh, I was reading this book by, I believe, Don Miguel Ruiz Jr., the son of the guy who wrote the book, The Four Agreements. Great book. And, uh, <coughs> which that is, don't, The Four Agreements, or don't take anything personal. Uh, oh, don't, don't take anything personal. Don't make assumptions. Always try your best and uh, be impeccable with your word. That's why I've always tried to just uh, just be me and just straight up, <clears throat> excuse me, on everything. But on negativity and hate, we're never gonna stop it. There's over 7 billion people. All we can do is just do our best, but what we can do is fix how we interpret things and our mindset on things and have empathy and sympathy and, and really understand how hurt people are. And that only hurt people try to hurt people. As far as verbally and you know what I mean? Because we're all going to see things we don't like. But it takes somebody really special, like in a really hurt place, to stop and then comment and try to project the mask that they wear and then where that mask has been. <coughs> Excuse me, where that mask has been onto you and what their idea of who you are to them or what they think you are. And it's not who it's, you, you gotta, we have to learn to not take it personal. Like it's not us and it, it takes practice and it's ne a lot of people go their whole lives the majority and never get it and i've had so many different things happen where it's given me a lot of practice a lot of practice and uh trying to understand that it does help too and i'm being serious if somebody in person came up and said something that, uh, that we see in the comments sometimes and we visually saw what they looked like it would be pat them on the head, have a good day, buddy. But or online, it tends to not come across that way because we don't always, a lot of them don't have pictures. So I just tried Gary Vaynerchuk. I love Gary, man. He's he's leading the way and I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with him. It's one of my big goals. I wanna be, I wanna be on stage with that motherfucker. He has a, he has a brain and uh, he's built a business, but he tries to help people and tries to educate people to give them more power and I think that's a fucking cool thing to do and he's motivated me in a different way to do more in sharing my thoughts and my knowledge of what I have and it makes me feel good Gary messaged me a few years ago and just said keep doing exactly what you're fucking doing and uh, that's always a good thing I, I really I can't, can't shout him out enough follow him on YouTube follow him on Instagram Gary Vaynerchuk Mm. Like I said, this isn't a little bitch channel, guys. We eat the whole food. And nothing, no, no one that doesn't eat the whole food is not a little bitch. That's just my... I would feel like a little bitch if I did it. All right, because I'm not really a food review thing. It's all a scam. These are the food trays, though. Get that in the back seat. I gotta shake off. All right, guys. Well, that was Raising Cane's. Chicken fingers with the Raising Cane sauce. Those right there could not have been any better. I tend to like buffalo. I like spicy things better. I, I like they don't. I wish Raising Cane's actually had a buffalo sauce um, to toss it in to get the buffalo fingers. Uh, I've done it myself with theirs, and it, it's so good. I, I think that Raising Cane's, if you guys could add that to the menu, I think that would be a big hit. If not, it's not my store, so there is PDQ here in Vegas, which has really good buffalo fingers as well. But those, for those those fried chicken fingers, five stars. With the Raising Cane's, they were juicy, they were tender. 
and uh, the line, it was quick, it was efficient. Uh, it was a good experience all the way around. And that's the one here up in uh, North Vegas, uh, Aliante area. Very, very, very good. And uh, their fries, even though I ate them last, they were still warm. Uh, I didn't get any ketchup or anything with them. They were, they were very, very good. Very, very good French fries. And uh, that chicken sandwich, five stars. That was, I would like to put that chicken sandwich up against the Popeyes with the black and ranch and that with the, the raisin cane sauce. That might be a mukbang here for the future to see who's the motherfucking king of the chicken sandwich. Chick-fil-A, asshole! There's a bunch of Chick-fil-A fans are popping up all out of the place here. Well, fucking pop back down. It's Sunday, guys. You guys can't, can't go out today, okay? This is being recorded on a Sunday, so you guys are taking it off today. This video is probably coming out Wednesday, though, with our scheduling. But, guys, there we have it. Raising Canes. And uh, let's have a great week. Be good human beings. As always, guys, conversation with the big guy Ryback. I got Mike Orlando on this week. Subscribe at all podcast platforms. Please leave a review on iTunes. It's greatly, greatly appreciated, guys, as we grow that podcast more and more. And uh, Ryback TV, if you could share and subscribe, turn on your notifications. And uh, Feed Me More Nutrition available on feedmemore.com. All natural supplements sweetened with stevia and monk fruit. Guys, my personal supplement line. And I don't know everything. Uh, I've just, these are supplements I created many years ago. I, I, from experience, and I work with a great team at Simpson Labs. And uh, they, have, they have helped me tremendously uh, grow this thing to what it is. And I don't always have all the answers, but I can try to get them. And I'm always trying to learn and improve on things. And I believe the supplement industry, there's a lot of bad and a lot of corruption in it, as there is with a lot of things. And this is my way of providing a product that I personally use every single day, all of them, that I truly believe in. And I don't believe supplements should have aspartame or sucralose in them, the artificial sweeteners, the artificial coloring. I'm more against the artificial sweeteners more than anything. Um, but we have we use natural ingredients, more ingredients, and the products actually work. You can look at the reviews. And uh, that's the one thing people are realizing. This shit is legit and it works. Uh, not to say it's going to work for everybody. There's always the people that don't want it to work. And, uh, and it unfortunately doesn't. And they don't give it time either. But that's part of the game. You can't please everyone in life. So uh, thank you guys for all of that. Let's have a great week. Get hungry. Stay hungry. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.